This lecture will cover the lungs and diaphragm and completes the respiratory system. The lungs. These are paired cone-shaped organs located in the thoracic cavity, lateral or bilateral to the heart. They extend from the diaphragm to just slightly superior to the clavicles. They lay against the ribs anteriorly and posteriorly. <clears throat> they are the principal organs of respiration. The function of the lungs is to exchange respiratory gases, your oxygen and carbon dioxide, between the lungs and blood via your capillaries. There are two layers of, two layers of serous membranes, collectively called the pleural membrane, that enclose and protect each lung. The parietal pleura line the wall of each pleural cavity. The visceral pleura covers the surface of the lungs. The pleural cavity contains a, the pleural fluid which lubricates the membranes, thus preventing friction and allowing the pleural membranes to glide easily over each other during breathing. The right lung has three lobes and the left lung has two lobes, so we're going to compare the two. The right lung is shorter and wider due to the fact that the diaphragm is higher on the right side to accommodate the liver. Again, the right lung has three lobes and it has two fissure. The lobes are designated as the superior lobe, middle lobe, and the inferior lobe. The fissures, they are called the horizontal fissure and the oblique fissure. The right lung has three secondary bronchi, one for each lobe. The left lung has two lobes and one fissure. The lobes are designated as superior lobe and the inferior lobe. The one fissure is called the oblique fissure. The left lung has two secondary bronchi, one for each lobe. Let's describe the lung. The apex is the narrow superior portion. The base is the broad inferior portion that rests on the diaphragm. The hilum or hilus is slightly is a slight indentation located on the medial surface of each lung through which your bronchi, pulmonary blood vessels, and nerves will enter and exit. The cardiac notch is a concave depression that is located medially on the left lung in which the heart lies. The root of the lung are the actual structures, meaning the bronchi, the blood vessels, and nerves. These are held together by the pleura and connective tissue. The diaphragm, which is also known as the phrenic, is the principal muscle of respiration. It is a dome-shaped muscle that is situated between the thoracic and abdominal cavities. It has three openings, foramens, apertures, or hiatuses. Let's talk about each of these openings. The IVC orifice, it's located at the level of your eighth thoracic vertebrae, and it's the most anterior. It allows the inferior vena cava to pass through. The esophagus or esophageal orifice lies right of the midline at the level of the 10th thoracic vertebrae. It allows the esophagus and the vagus nerve to pass through. And finally, the aortic orifice, this is the lowest one at the level of T12. And it allows the aorta, the thoracic duct, the azygos vein, and the hemiazygos vein to pass. This concludes the respiratory system.